sorry for men. They all suffer like these dumb beasts. <laughs> of course, I I'm single. Uh, uh, but being single is mysterious. It's silent. You live these large parts of your life completely unobserved. Sometimes you just want to suffer and no one be there to watch you. Then it's better to be single. Other times, you only suffer when there is someone there watching you. Then obviously it's much better to be single. And it's just better to be married when you're married. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, uh, it's really nice for a woman to go into a hotel and be Mrs. Whatever, but... I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I I don't think it really matters either way. I mean, I, I guess I don't think it really matters if you're married or if you're single. Did, did you hear the story about the cop who stopped a man from committing suicide and then committed suicide himself? It was like he made some deal with death. I mean, this cop made a speech and completely turned some man's life around. Do you genuinely think somebody could just say something that would impact your life in some significant way? What could somebody even say to you? After my accident, when I was lying there, paralyzed for six months. I had a lot of time to think. I thought about all the bad things I had ever done, and I tried to think of any of the good ones. There were some patterns in my list. Some of the things made sense. I made some connections, but then it just all dissolved away. The same way a lace cookie dissolves away in your mouth. Some sweetness and then just gone, like a dream. People said I was different after the accident, that having it changed me, that banging my brain changed me, and, and I just sit and I look at people and I just think that people, people change. <laughs> they just change. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> <laughs>